Hey guys and welcome to my channel and um, today I'm going to be doing like a morning or maybe even a day in the life vlog um so it is I think oh. like okay it's quarter past nine in the morning um and we're just going to see what we get on today so first thing I really did this morning and Ava helped me was put on the wash machine Ava's watching the newest Disney I think it's Disney or Pixar um turning red so I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and um yes can I help you yes yes yeah, so I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and then I have some um, <coughs> Etsy work I have to do so I'll have to make an order to I want to get out before the weekend. Um, so yeah, let's see how we go. So I'm just doing up an order. Um, it's the last one I have of the week. Um, and luckily I had two already kind of done. Um, but my Etsy shop, as maybe probably people don't, don't know, but Etsy are after increasing their fees um, again. And 
at this stage at the pricing that I have it it isn't just it isn't really viable for me I'm not making anything off it plus the postage and um, the price of postage here in Ireland has gone up as well um so with combined with both of those it's really making me think about what I want to do and what I'm going to continue selling like for me the biggest things that get sold are the um cash envelopes so and then these kind of like cash trackers and and those challenge cards that you would have saw um and then kind of functional stickers which are like date dots and and that sort of stuff more for decorating a planner um or making it more functional than the actual kind of budgeting layout so i think for me going forward the budgeting layout isn't going to happen but like the cash envelopes and then these kind of binders you know they're they're still very popular um so i think i'm going to continue with those but just i'm going to have to increase my fees because it's just as i said etsy increased their their selling fee I think it was called and then also as I said the postage went up so um you know it's unfortunate and you know I had my my cash envelopes at a very very fair price um but I think I'm gonna have to increase them I'm also adding some new um varieties I have glitter envelopes so I what I call them is glitter so like these like this color so they kind of have like a glitter effect as such you know um but i'm gonna start adding different colors to it because they were kind of like oranges and browns and um, so i'm gonna add more like pinkies and greens and yellows and stuff so this one that says wedding is actually robert's brothers getting married um in september so we have to you know save our pennies for that because with weddings comes new dresses and suits robert has a suit for the last i say 10 years so uh, we, he definitely needs a new one um we have a wedding this year uh, or uh, another friend of ours that's getting married next year and at some stage we're going to get married ourselves so um so now i need to cut these um on the silhouette and um i all I, I get that question a lot what do i use so i use this silhouette i had a cricket and i didn't like it at all um it, it wasn't uh millimeter perfect enough for me whereas this one i just find much more user friendly and i barely get any mistakes if it's a mistake it's something i did as in the sheet i didn't properly put down the sheet and it didn't stick to the to the pad properly so you know it moved um it's not the machine where with the cricket that thing could be like actually stuck to the pad but for some reason instead of like cutting around here where i'd want it it would cut all the way up here it was the strangest thing using the cricket so silhouette is better especially if you're doing more intricate stickers and stuff where you need them pretty much millimeter perfect so uh, i'm gonna do these i'm gonna get that order done and then my nose is very itchy today that means i'm gonna have a fight um then ava needs to get dressed um and then we probably need to go food shopping
so we did our shopping this week in Lidl. I only picked up a couple of stuff because yesterday I actually went to Tesco's and got some other things. So we got two packets of ham. We have smoked ham and then crumbed ham. We have some sausages. We have some cheese slices, mozzarella cheese, some fresh milk, some smoothies. Then we have 500 grams of chicken fillet breasts, um, two of these cheese and tomato pizzas. Then we have sliced chorizo, um, turkey rashers, and then some just normal bake bacon. <laughs> bake bacon? Bake. Oh my god, back bacon rashers. So um, I'm just going to put this away. So the second half of what we picked up, first off is this little first aid kit, it has 38 pieces in it, there's like bandages, plasters, that sort of stuff. Then we have a net of red onions, we have some cherry tomatoes, we have some brown bread, we have a pineapple, some strawberries, some seeded burger buns. We have some of these caddy liners that we use for our compost bin. Um, we have some mixed seedless grapes, some salt for our dishwasher, a packet of these potato sticks, and then um, some chunky chocolate bars. With, and then for um, our dinner tonight, we have some of these kind of like demi baguettes as well. So that's everything we picked up in Little. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better
sit down nothing is really happening um if you follow me on instagram you know that i booked a pretty much last minute as in within a month um holiday we're going to go to salu um and i'm really really excited about that it's been a very long time i went to salu in 2001 when 9 11 happened um I think that was 2001 um, we were there I was with my family and um, I would have been like 15 14 13 one of one of those ages and um, and then myself and Robert our very first holiday abroad that we went I think it was in like 2008 or 2007 we went to Salu and um, but we're staying in a Euro camp um, which is like a mobile home we're going to Stanguli um, I'm super excited we're only going for four nights um, we're flying out very early in the morning um, and then we're flying home pretty much it's it's a morning flight it's like a half 11 in the day or something and um, so we only really have four days there we would probably spend one of the days at Porto Ventura and um, we were gonna do two but that just doesn't really seem to make sense unless as we get closer the weather isn't amazing and um, you know it's only the start of their season or not even really it's still kind of low season there i think we're going the last week of low season um so you know it's not that hot there yet and then the pools at sanguli aren't going to be um aren't going to be warm so um if it's kind of cloudy or or not that hot you know that's probably not the best time to be in the pool but i'm really really looking forward to it um it, i just had a pretty stressful week last week so um spare the moment i decided i'm just gonna do it no not last week the week before um i'm just gonna do it you know i'm just going to just do it um yeah i mean this is what these things are for we went to decathlon and um, so this is like that kind of you know like a bodysuit like if you're going surfing or something that's what this is and then this one here is basically just um a sun top and i did get them in a in a bigger size and um, which i'm kind of worried now about this one it might keep her as warm but we do have our whole kind of bodysuit that does fit her but it's very close to not fitting her the one that we bought last year um so yeah we're just going to be preparing slowly for that we have like 20 days or something um until that happens until that comes and i'm super excited about it um but i think that's really going to be everything there wasn't very much today it was just kind of like a spare the moment thing that i was just you know i was just vlogging and um, i have been um doing some like last week i did day two of the walt disney um no disneyland paris um vlog but then i also put up we um visited a place that's like 20 30 minutes away from us here um within the county and um we just you know strolled around the grounds of it and ava had a great time exploring and stuff so if you haven't watched those videos i would love if you do um i want to do more of that it hasn't been popular <laughs> the travel ones haven't been popular like these more day-to-day -day vlogs are more popular and that's okay you know and people like what they like um but if you do have some time i would love if you even if you could put it on in the background you know um but yeah that is it guys thank you so much for watching today's video i will be back on a sunday with another disney vlog um and then um i'll be back next week as well maybe with a more in-depth grocery haul if that is something that you're interested in do let me know um, so thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.